Hello, I'm Fiona Raj here for, for naturalsinustreatment.com. In this video, we are going to get a knowledge about sinusitis. What is sinusitis and what are the symptoms and how it can be diagnosed. Sinusitis is the most common chronic condition diagnosed in the United States affecting an estimated 14% of the population. The direct medical costs of sinusitis amount to billions of dollars annually. Indirectly, the costs of treating sinusitis are greatly magnified by the staggering amount of lost hours of productivity at work and school. Current methods of cost analysis indicate that sinusitis observed nearly 1% of the entire gross national product. Physicians routinely using the term rhinosinusitis. Reno means nose, sinus means air filled cavity behind the upper facial bones or simply sinusitis to refer to an inflammation of the paranasal sinuses. Sinusitis <coughs> may involve both the mucous membranes of the nasal cavity and the four sinus pads, frontal, ethmoid, maxillary, and the sphenoid, paranasal sinuses. The mucous secretions found in the nasal passage of the sinusitis suffer are directly related to the ongoing pathologic changes in both surrounding bone and tissue. What are the signs and symptoms of sinusitis? Sinusitis is swelling or inflammation behind your cheekbones and forehead affecting the lining of sinuses. And what are the major factors? Factors means the, uh, the physical uh, factors. Thick colored post nasal drainage or discharge becoming the yellowish to yellow green. Congested nasal passages. Sneezing. Reduction or loss of sense of smell. Major factors again facial pain, facial pressure, fullness, fever only with additional symptoms, pus in the nose upon physical exam. Okay, and there are minor factors fever, fatigue, headache, hoarseness, I mean the sound coming from the pharyngitis, bad breath persistent cough, dental pain, irritability, clicking in the ears, ear pain, stuffiness or blackage felt in the ears. And clinical categories of sinusitis infection, acute types, acute sinusitis, uh, it's uh, shown a duration less than four weeks. Uh, acute sinusitis is sudden in onset and lasts up to four weeks. The symptoms resolve completely and once the disease has been treated, antibiotics are no longer needed. A strong history consistent with acute sinusitis includes two or more major factors or one major and two minor factors. However, the finding of nasal prulin, a strong indicator of accurate diagnosis, a suggestive history for white acute sinusitis should be included in the differential diagnosis includes one major factor or two or more minor factors. In the absence of other nasal factors, fever or pain alone does not constitute a strong history. Severe prolonged or worsening infections may be associated with <coughs> non-viral element factors suggesting acute bacterial sinusitis. Uh, or the worsening of symptoms after five days, the persistence of symptoms for more than 10 days, or the presence of symptoms out of proportion to those typically associated with viral upper respiratory infection. Then comes recurrent acute sinusitis. A recurrent acute sinusitis is defined by symptoms and physical findings consistent with acute sinusitis with these symptoms and findings worsening after five days of persisting as long as 10 days. However, each episode lasts seven to 10 days or more and may last up to four weeks. 
Furthermore, as many as four episodes occur in one year, between episodes, symptoms are absent without current antibiotic therapy. The diagnostic criteria for recurrent acute sinusitis are otherwise identical to those for acute sinusitis. The third one is subacute sinusitis. Subacute sinusitis. Subacute sinusitis represents a continuum of natural progression of acute sinusitis that has not resolved. This condition is diagnosed after a four week duration of acute sinusitis and it lasts up to 12 weeks. Subacute sinusitis is not known to represent a discrete histopathologic entity, but it may warrant therapy different from that for either acute sinusitis or chronic sinusitis. Patients with the subacute sinusitis may or may not have treated for the acute phase and the symptoms are less severe than in acute sinusitis. Thus, unlike in acute sinusitis, fever would not be considered a major factor. The clinical factors required for the diagnosis of subacute adult sinusitis are the same for those for chronic sinusitis. Subacute sinusitis usually resolves completely after an effective medical regimen. <coughs> okay, then uh, we can see some pictures. Uh, these, uh, this is a left nasal endoscopic view, a recurrent sinus the following surgery, showing extensive mucus discharge from left maxillary sinus opening. And uh, right nasal endoscopic view showing extensive scar tissue from right middle of temperate, a lateral nasal, nasal wall, obstructing uh, the ethmoidal sinus drainage. Clinical categories. Here it comes sinusitis infection, chronic types. See the left image, chronic and sinusitis on the right side following sinus surgery. On the uh, right one, right side one shows the chronic sinusitis on the right side with wipes. Okay, a chronic sinusitis duration greater than 12 weeks. Okay. Chronic sinusitis is sinusitis lasting as long as 12 weeks. The diagnosis of uh, chronic sinusitis is confirmed by the major and minor clinical factors complex described previously with or without findings on the physical examination. A strong history consistent with the chronic sinusitis includes the presence of two or more major factors or one major and two minor factors factors we have seen already, major factors and minus factors, at comes, uh, fevers, fatigue, these are all minors and the previous one for major. A history suggesting that the chronic sinusitis should be considered in the differential diagnosis includes two or more minor factors or one major factor. Facial pain does not constitute a strong history in the absence of other nasal factors. Cultures may be particular value in identifying resistance microbial flora. Then acute exaggeration of chronic sinusitis. Acute exacerbation of chronic adult sinusitis represents a sudden worsening of the bas baseline chronic sinusitis with either worsening or new symptoms. Typically, the acute, not chronic, symptoms resolve completely between occurrences due to the underlying chronic nature of this condition. Bacterial flora may represent resistant of a, a typical strains, thus image-guided culture may be particularly helpful in directing antimicrobial therapy. These uh, three figures are showing about uh, the organism-based sinusitis. The first one is bacterial and second one is viral and third one is fungal. These are the three organism-based sinusitis and more we will go on in the next video and now we will go through a <coughs> summary and uh, how we can prevent sinusitis. Keep your nose as smooth as possible 
with the frequent use of saline sprays or washes. Strive for an indoor environment that's not too dry and not too humid. Avoid exposure to irritants such as cigarette and the cigar smoke. Materials that give off fumes can all make your sinus problems worse. Avoid cleaning products as spray and earth materials that give off fumes. If you have not been tested for allergies and you are getting frequent sinus infections, ask your healthcare professional to give you an allergy evaluation or refer you to an allergy specialist. Avoid long periods of swimming in pools treated with chlorine, which can irritate the lining of the nose and sinuses. Avoid water diving, which forces water into the sinuses from the nasal passages. And uh, unfortunately, there's no easy fix for sinus problems. For many sufferers, it's an ongoing battle to find a relief. But, 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 fortunately, there is a final and natural solution is here. Go to my website, farnaturalsinustreatment.com. Thanks for watching. Bye for.